In the talks of most iconic watches in the world, there is absolutely no chance you can miss the Datejust, a watch with close to eight decades of history and a watch which essentially commenced the journey of Cyclops lens for Rolex, an attribute that pretty much has become a synonym to Rolex, to the point that where the original Submariner had no date, now a more popular Submariner is the one with not just the date, but a Cyclops lens on the crystal. The original size of Datejust was 36mm, and while Rolex have continued to stay true and committed to the size of 36mm, they've added more sizes to provide additional variations and choices. It wasn't until 2009 that Rolex finally increased the size of Datejust to 41mm. What's interesting is that this DJ41 doesn't come at the cost of DJ36, and even to date, the DJ36 is still in production and is as popular as the DJ41, if not more. This is interesting because typically when Rolex add a new size to the watch model, the previous size is discontinued. Talk about OP39, Explorer 39, Submariner 40 or Explorer 240, all sizes replaced and these lines permanently discontinued. But there is no DJ in this example. When you are in the market looking for a watch and confused between DJ36 and DJ41, it can be a complex choice largely because you many times don't get to try both in the same shop or basically try either at all. And then even if you can try, you can't exactly gauge or ascertain as to why one looks and wears so much different than the other. To help with this decision, I will highlight some of the main differences as to why they wear so differently, a comparison beyond the obvious. As both of the watches in this comparison have a different dial, so we will not be looking at the differences in the dial elements, but I will only mention one difference that aligned with the similar size of DJ36, its dial hands are ever so slightly smaller than DJ41. And if you look closely, you can also notice that the width of the bezel is also much lesser in the DJ36 compared to the DJ41, which means that the DJ36 will also be slightly less blingy watch of the two. Speaking about the differences in the sizes of the watches, let's get started with the dimensional analysis and measuring the bezel at the outer extremity on the DJ41. Its size is 39.2 mm. Now you'd be wondering why it is called the DJ41 when the bezel is about 39 mm. So if you measure the case of DJ31 from 2 to 8 o'clock position, it is indeed 40.8 mm, hence the larger size. This is due to the curved profile of the case sides adding to the heft. Measuring the bezel dimension on the DJ36, it is 35.2 mm. That is, while the case size is 5 mm smaller than the 41, the face of the watch at the bezel is only 4 mm smaller. Measuring the 2 to 8 o'clock measurement on the case, the DJ36 returns the reading of 36.8 mm. So I would argue on its marketed size and say that technically and arguably it is a 37mm watch, at least as per my caliber. Speaking about the dial size, the DJ41 has the dial dimension of 32 mils, whereas measuring the dial on the DJ36, it is 30 mils. So again the face of the watch due to the dial here is only 2 mils smaller. For your reference, the dial size on the Rolex Submariner or Yacht Master is also 30 mils, but due to the bezel naturally, the size adds up and they look much bigger, although the dial size is the same as DJ36. One of the reasons why the DJ36 wears so beautifully and so manly, despite a smaller-ish size, is how well Rolex have sized its bracelet and it comes with a 20mm bracelet. For reference, this is the same width of bracelet 
that came with the Submariner 40 mils and it is the same bracelet size that still comes with the GMT and Yachtmaster. The DJ41 in this comparison however comes with a 21 mils bracelet. Another interesting character is that both bracelets taper down to the same width of 15.4 mm at the clasp and this adds to the dressiness of both of these watches. The DJ41 naturally has much more size and metal around the case as you can see in this clip. It is taller, it is wider and that adds to the substance and heftiness of the watch. Even the lugs are slightly wider on the DJ41 as compared to the DJ36 to add a perfect balance to the design. While both of these watches come with exactly same water resistance of 100 meters, even the crown is slightly thicker on the DJ41. On the wrist, the DJ36 wears true to its size but looks slightly bigger than you would think and typically get from a 36mm watch. This is partially due to a slightly larger actual size as I explained earlier in the video but then also a wider bracelet of 20 mils that really fills the wrist nicely. For reference, even the Explorer 36 or Yacht Master 37 comes with a narrower bracelet than the DJ36 although the Yacht Master is a 1mm bigger watch on paper. The dial is also well sized and then the lug to lug height here is 43.1 mils which also helps with how the watch wears adding to the substance on the wrist. The weight of the watch with all links on is 121 grams. On the other hand, the DJ41 is naturally a much bigger watch and fills the wrist a lot more than the DJ36. While the DJ41 is bigger, its size does not come at the cost of wearability and you can still easily pull it off although it will not look as dressy as the DJ36 which may be a positive as it makes it more versatile or a negative as it makes it a touch less formal. The lug to lug height on the DJ41 is 47.4 mils so it is still a very wearable watch. The weight of the watch with all links on is 134 grams so it is also about 10% heavier in weight than the DJ36. There is no right or wrong choice here. Rather, you can actually have both in your collection and you will not get both. In the watch world, even half mil of size can sometimes make or break the deal. So with 5 mils of size difference, the step up in the size is large and where the DJ36 offers you a more conventional, formal, classic, iconic and historic looks and size. The DJ41 offers a more modern, hefty, substantial and sizable variation to fill the wrist and offer the joy. If anything, this is the best case scenario where we did get the DJ41 but didn't see the DJ36 depart. I mean, how can we forget some amazing sizes from the Rolex lineup? Now, a history. OP39. Explorer 39, Explorer 240 and even Sea Dweller 40. Lucky us, these examples don't include a DJ yet.